everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chakisha of Her Lovely Plan and of course I am here with another planner related video. Now this week is my last week planning for the month of February and also my last week of planning in my B6. Skirt! I know, y'all saying, what? Keisha, get your life. But this is actually for a planner challenge. I will be using this again in April, um, so you will see me do a whole new setup. Um, and as you can see, this is a new cover, um, but I just kind of took all of the inserts from my old cover and put it into this new one. Nevertheless, I want to go ahead and do this last plan with me in this one because starting on March the 4th, myself, Tarshell B, Shea Budges, and E. Michelle are doing a one planner challenge. And I'll kind of talk about that throughout um, the plan with me process and the, well, put it this way, the one planner challenge, the purpose is just to see if you can function out of one planner. And I'm gonna just kinda give you some tidbits about um, how I'm gonna be doing the process and some other things that I'll be doing in conjunction with being in one planner for the month of March. But nevertheless, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this plan with me. But first, I do wanna show you my plans from last week, the after the pin, as well as the items that I'll be using for this week. Okay, so here was my spread from last week, and as you all know, I was on a rustcation, so I really didn't do a lot of um, planning. I just kinda documented the things that I knew were going to take place. All of my videos as well as my Instagram posts were scheduled so I didn't actually go in and post anything. Um, if I did, I might have crept in and post a few things in my stories, but everything that was on my actual profile was all scheduled through Planoly. Um, and I will also leave their website in the description box if you are interested in doing your own scheduled post. Um, but this is my plans from last week in my social media insert in my B6 weeks. Um, and as you can see, I used this gorgeous kit that was from Planner City, along with some of her header, um, bow headers and confetti headers, um, as well as this cute little planner babe from Shops by, um, Stickers by Rhonda. Um, and like I said, all of my stuff was scheduled so I didn't actually go back into my planner other than just to make sure that everything was being posted, you know, on schedule. So this week I am mixing it up and as you can see this is wild and free. So I'm combining a kit along with some other elements from different shops. Um, so this was a full kit um, that I got last year from It's Just Paper Co. I don't believe they sell this anymore, so if you go looking on her shop, you probably won't see it. Um, so it's just a couple of pages that I had left um, that I'm gonna use in this week's spread. I was super excited that it still had some date covers um, because y'all know I love my date covers. And then I'm going to combine two different washies. Um, since this has purple in it, I wanna use this purple bow washi from Simply Gilded. And then I have this mixture of colors that match perfectly with this spread. Um, don't know where this came from, but more than likely it came with a set of something from either Hobby Lobby or Jo or Joann's. Next, I'm going to, this actually came with my kit from my Golden Plans Co. kit. Um, but I want to use these because this gold matches perfect with this. Like it's a very bold gold. So this matches perfectly with the spray that I'm gonna do today. And then I have some of these like raindrop dot stickers that I'll be using from Sweet Paper Studios um, Design. And these are so cute. As you can see, these are the shapes. And what I'm thinking, once I use up a row, I might cut these out and make like, still make them like, like check, check mark stickers. And then because we're going with that bold gold, I have these date dots from Sticker Bloom. So let's go ahead and get right into planning for the week of 
De not December, burp, burp. <laughs> for the week of February 25th through March 3rd. All right, so I had to go ahead and add some washi to the top. Um, and I did this um, because the days of the week that were already on the spread were a little big. So I had to go through and add more white out. And because the date covers were so much more narrow, um, I had to do something to cover that white out. I hate white out peeking out of the side. So that's all I did. And it worked perfectly because as I stated earlier, these colors that is that are in this washi matches this spread perfectly so now i'm just like i said adding my date covers i'm going to go ahead and add these glitter um, headers to cover this um, grayish black space um, when i printed these off i printed it in black and white because i didn't want to have the color because i think they were like pink um, but it's horrible, so I definitely need to find me a different B6 Weeks insert in which I'll have plenty of time to do that because starting on March the 4th, I am participating in the One Planner Challenge along with E. Michelle, Shea Budgets, and Tarshell B. And this challenge has been extended out to everyone. Um, so before I go into the challenge, I just want you all to see this beautiful gold overlay that I just put on before I started laying these gold date dots. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Now this one planner challenge, I don't know who came up with the idea out of the three of the ladies. Um, I was on my rescation when they came up with it and I said I would jump on board. But the whole concept is, is just to challenge ourselves to see if we can actually function with one physical planner. Now most of us that have one physical planner, whether it's a travels notebook or Franken plan planner, it has pieces of different types of planners. Now, does that still consider is considered as one planner? In my opinion, yes, because you only have one physical planner that you're using versus like with me, I have my A5, that's my EDC, and all I put in that is just stuff that's pertaining to me and my life. Then I have my B6, that is for social media, um, in my youtube channel then i have my faith planner um, i have my budget planner <laughs> so i have a lot of physical planners so this is just to see if i can do everything that i need to do in this one planner that i would do in multiple planners and ultimately using one planner you are somewhat frank in planning it because what you're doing is making that one planner do all the functions of multiple planners. So if you have to put pages in, inserts in one physical planner, that's considered one planner, um, in my opinion. So, you know, if you guys want to join in and you have questions about, well, does a travel's notebook with five or six insert count as one planner? Yes, because it's one planner. Does my happy planner that I have Franken plan count as one planner? Yes. So it's just a way of just seeing how we can function with one planner. That's simply it, bottom line period. I hope I made it a little more um, understandable because um, I know a lot of people had questions, but that's my interpretation of the one planner challenge. That way when you leave the house on Monday to go to work or wherever, you don't have to have five different planners in your backpack or in your purse. So this planner challenge might actually 
get you back into a smaller purse or bag <laughs> ultimately. Um, so just challenge yourself, whether you can try it for a week or the whole month, just try it, see how it works. You know, I'm kind of going through withdrawals already because I love my B6. I can kind of do without everything else, but I love my A5 and my B6. So y'all pray that <laughs> I can make it through. So as I add these finishing touches to my spread, I do want to let y'all know that for myself, even though I'm using one planner, I still will be filming in all of my planners that I would normally plan in um, just so you can, you know, continue to see how to plan in whichever planner you decide to use. So I'm not going to be planning. I'm only going to be decorating. So I am finished my spread in my B6 weeks. And as you can see, it's nice and foily. Ooh. <laughs> so I was super excited because I forgot that I had got some new stickers and I was really stoked to be able to um, add them in. Um, so just to kind of go back and recap everything that I did, um, I want to make sure I incorporate more Instagram because this is my social media um, planner insert um, so I want to make sure that I am documenting the days that I've scheduled my posts because I am going to continue to use the Planoly um, because I like the fact that I can go ahead and post everything schedule it all the hashtags that I use I don't have to worry about you know going to my notepad copying them and paste them everything is right there on the Planoly app and I love it um, so realistically I don't have to write anything other than just titling, you know, what I'm posting on Instagram, like my B6. Well, like Monday will be my A5 photos, Tuesday my B6, and so forth and forth, so forth and so on. So just to kind of show you the extra stickers that I added because I didn't show these in the beginning. Um, because I didn't have to do headers in that um, leftover kit, I pulled a, a to-do header and a goals header um, from the Sweet Caress Design stickers that I got a while back. And then these cute bow Instagram icons. Look at those, oh my gosh. These are so cute. I wanna order more. Um, my only dilemma is like when I order stuff, I hate the fact that I have to wait so long and I understand some of these um, shops they um, have processing times on top of shipping times and I've learned with doing these recent orders that I have to be mindful of that um, because I do get a little bit antsy and when I order and I want them I want them but now that I have them I can order them and I will get them before I run out <laughs> so these icon stickers came from Samantha May and I got these in silver as well as rose gold. And they come in a lot of different metallics. Um, so, um, but right now my go-tos are silver gold and rose gold. And then of course, I had to pull out my H-Rain Design foiled icon stickers um, and script stickers to indicate the days that I'll be filming, editing, and uploading. Um, and then I used these very pretty deep um, purple teardrop um, icon dot stickers whatever you want to call them um, so I can check off when I get it done I didn't put one there just because I just didn't um, and as you see I went back in and added this washi right here because I wanted to incorporate some of these colors um, that was in this spread and look at the overlay stickers 
like for real I have totally blown my planner budget but I need to order more of these um, and let's see what else that's it because I'm gonna try to learn not to keep talking and talking because I can keep talking and talking because I'm so like in awe and you know I know sometimes people are like oh kid is a no-brainer it's easy to do all you're doing is you know laying a row of stickers and I could actually alternate if I wanted to um, but I just like how it just sections it off and I like to add the different like quarter boxes and half box stickers and all of that stuff so it still takes some creativity because you know you can lay the stickers but what are going to be your accent pieces? Like, you know, you can have a cute outfit, but the accessories is what makes that outfit bad. You know what I'm saying? You get them stiletto boots or them stiletto shoes, girl, or and some bangles and your rings and your watch and stuff. That sets the outfit off. So all of this extra bling bling is setting the spread off. So if you like my spread and you like this video, again, this is my last um, set up for um, not set up my last plan with me in my B6 weeks and my B6 planner um, in general um, this is it until April um, hopefully and I feel like I can function you know I'll be able to function in one planner I really will and if y'all have questions about the one planner challenge or you want to jump in feel free to drop me a comment as well if you like this drop me a comment tell me you like it tell me what you feel about it and if you haven't already done so at this point make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new video or a Sunday live streams stream because <laughs> I only do one um, and as well if this spread has inspired you, go ahead and share this video with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.